Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain bonding in metal carbonyls and also some structures of metal carbonyls. In bonding in metal carbonyls, first we have to understand the molecular orbital diagram of carbon monoxide. In metal carbonyls, we know that carbon monoxide is the ligand. Here, this is the molecular orbital diagram of carbon monoxide. On left side, you have atomic orbitals of carbon. Right side, you have atomic orbitals of oxygen. And in middle, you have molecular orbitals of carbon monoxide. Okay, this is the increase in energy. If you take a valence electronic configuration of carbon, it's 2s2, 2p x1, 2p. Y1, 2s2, 2p, x1, 2p, y1. If you take oxygen, 2s2, 2p, x2, 2p, y1, 2p, z1. So this is the electronic configuration of oxygen. Then what is the electronic configuration of uh, CO? When there is a linear combination of 2s orbital of carbon and 2s orbital of oxygen, there is a formation of sigma s and a sigma star s bonding and antibonding here also there is a linear combination between 2px 2px and 2py 2pz 2py 2pz so here there is a formation of uh, sigma type of bonding orbitals and pi type of bonding orbitals in this case you have sigma p pi y pi z and pi star y pi star z and uh, sigma p star so this is the molecular orbital diagram and how many electrons are there from carbon you have uh, from valency electronic configuration if you take you have four electrons from oxygen you have eight electrons six electrons you have so finally you have 10 electrons you can fill these 10 electrons these valency 10 electrons can be filled sigma s2 sigma p2 pi y2 pi z2 sigma star s2 okay this is the electronic configuration of uh, CO molecule in this case this is the level which has highest energy this is the level filled with highest energy filled with electrons with highest energy these are the levels uh, which are unfilled with lowest energy so this one is called as HOMO, highest uh, occupied molecular orbital and these two are called as LUMO, lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. Okay, this is the electronic configuration. Here highest occupied molecular, molecular orbital is a sigma s star and lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is a pi y star and pi z star. Let us take the bonding. Bonding in metal carbonyls, we have a CO ligand, it is a weak sigma donor, it donates uh, electrons and forms a sigma bond and it is a weak sigma donor, it is also called a sigma base and a strong pi acceptor, pi acceptor means a pi acid and you can find two types of bonding interactions, one is sigma type of bonding interaction and another one is pi type of bonding interactions. In sigma type of bonding interactions, there is a formation of dative bond, there is a formation of sigma bond. Here, uh, the lone pair of electrons will be donated towards empty orbital of metal and there is a overlapping of uh, empty orbital of metal and homo of the CO. So, there is a head on overlapping and there is a formation of sigma bond. Let us take the pi type of interactions. In pi type of interactions, there is a overlapping of filled d pi orbitals or dp pi orbitals, hybrid dp pi orbitals of metal with the LUMO of metal carbonyl. This is a pi y star and pi z star or LUMO, these are empty orbitals. And the filled orbitals of metal and the empty orbitals of uh, carbon monoxide, there is a sideway overlapping between 
these two orbitals and there is a formation of a pi bond due to having two bonds between metal and carbon there is a synergetic effect this synergetic effect strengthens the the metal and the carbon bond that's why there is the existence of metal carbonyls let us take different types of co when you take uh, carbon monoxide in free state you have triple bond between carbon and oxygen and you have lone pair of electrons on carbon and also on oxygen if you take terminal carbon monoxide ligand co ligand this one donates two electrons to the metal and there is a formation of a metal carbon bond and here there is a triple bond between carbon and oxygen and bridging if you take you have mu2 bridging and mu3 bridging in mu2 bridging the carbon of carbon monoxide ligand will attach with uh, will form bond with two metals it bridges uh, two metals so it is called as mu2 bridging in this case also carbon donates two electrons here three centers uh, will be shared will share the two electrons so this one is three centered to electron bond and uh, mu3 bridging if you take the carbon donates three electrons here three electrons the three electrons will be shared by four centers four atoms carbon and three metals so it's a four centered three electron bond these are different types of uh, uh, carbon monoxide free state terminal bridging mu2 and mu3 bridging let us take the structures of metal carbonyls vanadium it can form vco6 and chromium crco6 and manganese mn2co10 iron it can form feco5 fe2co9 and fe3co12 and cobalt you have co2co8 and nickel you have nico4 some are forming mononuclear metal carbonyls some are forming polynuclear metal carbonyls let us take this structure of nico4 in nico4 the central atom is nickel the metal atom is nickel we know the ground state electronic configuration of nickel 3d 8 to 4s2 this is the ground state electronic configuration 3d 8 to 4s2 and you can fill uh, eight electrons in the uh, 5d orbitals and also two electrons in one s orbital in presence of ligands when carbon monoxide ligands approaches nickel then there is a rearrangement of electrons so in presence of co ligands the electrons will be paid so you have a 3d 10 electron electronic configuration before you have 3d 8 4s2 in presence of co ligands you have 3d 10 electronic configuration you can find uh, how many empty orbitals you can find four empty orbitals one is s orbital three are p orbitals there is a overlapping there is a hybridization between uh, s orbital and 3p orbitals and there is a formation of uh, sp3 hybridized orbitals four sp3 hybridized orbitals okay these are four sp3 hybridized orbitals these are empty orbitals these empty orbitals will be filled by four co ligands the four co ligands donates so four lone pair of electrons to the four empty sp3 hybridized orbitals then if you take the complex the outermost electronic configuration will be 3d8 4s2 4p6 due to filling of electrons by the co ligands what is the geometry the geometry since it has sp3 hybridization the geometry obviously tetrahedral okay this is the geometry of uh, nico4 tetrahedral what is the angle 109 degrees uh, 28 minutes this is a bond angle in nico4 since all the electrons are filled since all the electrons are filled if you take uh, 
nickel complex NaCO4 all the electrons are paid so the complex is diamagnetic in nature let us take the FeCO5 in this what is the central atom iron is the central atom we know the electronic configuration of FeCO5 in ground state 3d6 4s2 this is a valency electronic configuration of iron in ground state you can fill six electrons like uh, 2 1 1 1 1 and 4s2 in presence of uh, CO ligands there is a rearrangement of electrons and there is a pairing of electrons all the electrons will come into the d orbitals so here the eight electrons will be filled as 3d8 so the electronic configuration will become 3d8 and here you can find the uh, one d orbitals n minus one d orbital that is 3d orbital and one s orbital ns orbital and three np orbitals here there is a hybridization between a one d orbital one s orbital and three p orbitals so there is a dsp3 hybridization okay, these are inner complexes since uh, the inner d orbitals are participating this one is a inner complex FeCO5 is inner complex so here you can find five empty d orbitals empty hybridized d sp3 hybridized orbitals these empty hybridized orbitals will get two electrons each empty hybridized orbital will get two electrons from the each CO ligand so there is a filling of uh, these five hybridized empty orbitals by five CO ligands so finally all the electrons are filled here you have uh, 3d10 4s2 and 4p6 electronic configuration in uh, FeCO5 all the electrons are filled that's why it's a diamagnetic thing all the electrons are paid paid uh, that's why it is uh, diamagnetic what is the st structure? The structure is trigonal bipyramidal since the hybridization is GSP3. This is the structure. In this case, we have 120 angle in plane and 90 angle. This one makes 90 angle to the plane of the trigonal plane. This is the trigonal plane. In trigonal plane, you have 120. The trigonal plane makes the angle with axial CO 90 degrees. This is the FeCO5 structure. Let us take the CrCO6 structure. Here the central atom is chromium. What is the electronic configuration of chromium? It's a 3D5 4S1. Okay, anomalous electronic configuration, 3D5 4S1. And uh, in presence of CO ligands, the six electrons will be rearranged in D orbitals. So there is a 3D. 6 instead of 3d5 there is a 3d6 and you can find how many empty orbitals you can find uh, 6 empty orbitals 2d orbitals 1 s orbital 3p orbitals what is the hybridization you have here d2 sp3 hybridization this one also inner complex this one also inner complex since uh, the n minus 1 d orbitals are participating it's an inner complex and each D2 sp3 hybridized orbital will get two electrons from each CO ligand and all the D2 sp3 hybridized orbitals will be filled. Since all the electrons are paid, it is a diamagnetic and what is the structure? It has octahedral structure. This is a, a square planar plane and above the plane you have one CO ligand and below the plane you have CO ligand. All the bond angles are 90 degrees. This one is 90. In plane you have 90 this square plane square planar makes 90 angle to the axial position this is the structure of CRCO6 let us take the VCO6 what is the electronic configuration of vanadium it's a 3d3 4s2 this is the electronic configuration of vanadium in presence of CO ligands the electrons are re rearranged so here you get uh, 3d5 the five electrons will be filled in uh, d orbitals 
and 2, 2, 1. This is the arrangement of uh, these 5 electrons. And uh, here you can find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, empty orbitals. These 6 empty orbitals will participate in hybridization and there is a formation of D2 sp3 hybridization. You will get uh, 6 D2 sp3 hybridized orbitals uh, and these 6 D2 sp3 hybridized orbitals will be filled by 6 CO ligands. Here you can observe one unpaid electron. Okay, here all the levels are not completely filled. One is unpaid. That is why it is paramagnetic in nature. Due to having unpaid electron, uh, VCO6 is uh, paramagnetic. The structure is similar to the CRCO6. Here also the plane, square plane, 90 angle and this one makes 90 angle with axial positions of CO. In coming video, I will explain the structures of Mn2CO10, Fe2CO9, Fe3CO12 and CO2CO8. Thank you.